As small children, we're encouraged to be artists. We're encouraged to express ourselves and to be creative. And as time goes on and we enter into the workplace and through the high school years, we're really, we're really encouraged to not focus on that anymore. So it's, it's like a reconnection with your childhood. a lot of times people feel like they're not creative, that they aren't able to do creative things or, or make art or get involved in anything creative. They, people are scared of that. They don't feel like they are, but I don't believe that that's true. Everyone is creative. It's just a matter of taking that leap. I don't do a lot of sketches. I'll generally have kind of a partially formed idea in my mind at first, and then start to work with the color and the shapes, and it kind of flows out naturally. It's a bit of a messy process. There it is, it's the first layer. This one's uh, going to be something inspired by water. <laughs> I have very eclectic tastes and so I like to look to a huge variety of different elements for inspiration. Everything from graffiti art to textures on the sidewalk to the colors of the seasons. I really value all of the little things and the little moments outside and all of the the elements that go into those moments. There's these multiple layers to reality and I use those ideas in my artwork and it might be subtle when you first look at it, but there's things going on under the surface and I work in lots and lots of layers, building this kind of secret story up as I go. Caribou Night was painted during kind of a rough time actually. Uh, my husband was diagnosed with cancer last year and we went and lived in Seattle for four months while he was getting treatment and one of the positive parts of that experience that I took away was that every night we had art night and the paintings that I created during that time they're all very happy and they have a lot of joy in them and it was that that joy and thinking about the natural environment and eagerly awaiting when we could come back home. In Caribou Night, there's a layer of kind of a, a secret writing code, you know, that maybe there's some communication happening there with the caribou. More layers were added onto that, colors and the darkness of the night. I think the narrative comes in the viewer looks at the piece and describes that narrative to themselves. I value how others view my art and how the story that they bring to, to the art is almost as much a piece of the whole picture as the, the painting itself. I love hearing those stories. I'm Jennifer Moss and I'm the KUAC poster artist for 2015.